Canadians seem to have a particular knack for assuming the identities of others. Unkind souls say it's because we have no identity of our own. But that doesn't change the fact that many of the world-class impressionists, such as Rich Little and Craig Russell, are Canadians. They're soon to be joined by another local boy, 21-year-old Jim Carrey. He's already being compared to superstars like Johnny Carson and Robin Williams. The secret of his comic genius, Jim Carrey is a man of many faces. Jim Carrey, no ordinary face in the crowd. His impressions wow them in New York, draw raves in Los Angeles. And as for a recent Toronto appearance, well, he did his best to drum up business. Boycott the Jim Carrey show. Don't go in there. Dangerous to mental health. Boycott the Jim Carrey show. Boycott the Jim Carrey show. Boycott the Jim Carrey show. <laughs> the amazing Carrey doing the amazing Kreskin, king of psychics. The body is rubber, sheer elastic. And the face, sheer lunacy. <laughs> Carrie started making faces in his high chair. Luckily, he's never stopped. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the show. We're running out of time. <laughs> it's not wild, it's not amazing. So were you just born with this plastic face? I guess. Always hamming it up, you know? Just. It just sort of came natural. I don't. I didn't know until like a year ago that that was different than everybody else. That that my face was so weird. I uh, realized that that's what what is what my special thing is. I guess is that I'm weird. Is that I'm rubber. wasn't even born when Elvis Presley reached his peak. You'd never know it. How the heck did you learn to pull your lip up in one corner like that to do Elvis? Uh, I don't know. I think I got it caught on a nail one day. Because <laughs> these are men, you just got to get into it. And it's just a feeling. <laughs> Other faces are even more of a challenge. Sammy Davis, for example. Faces are, are in there, you know, and, and when I see myself in the mirror and I go, ooh, like that, I say, that's him, you know. I can see that face. I can feel that face. The face, Henry Fonda. The movie, On Golden Pond. I hope you're ready to massage my lip back to my Carrie is just as good mimicking politicians, like Leonid Brezhnev. It's perfect. Trudeau. Does everybody in your family do faces and voices? Oh, yeah, everybody. My mother taught me how to do Bruce Dern. <laughs> I came home one day and she was going, What do you want for supper? And I said, Can I use that, Mom? She said, Sure. That'd be real nice. No, my mom doesn't do that. I'm only kidding. What about your dad? <laughs> my dad does Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> uh, how are you, Jim? How about these marks in school today? <laughs> and I then the comet, hey. the comet. So I stole everything from my family. My sister, Billie Holiday. 
I've been, I tried to get Barbara Streisand for a long time, but I couldn't. I just gave up. Can you do part of her? Like just the nose. Her movements? <laughs> <laughs> How do you work up one of your characters? Uh, I sit with a record or, or a, a, a video if, if I get the chance. I usually don't use video. Most of the characters that I do are from memory. The, that uh, I'll be sitting looking in the mirror uh, doing some contortions with my face and things like that, moving my face around, and I'll, I'll, I'll say, okay, that looks like, you know, and, and I'll get faces that way, and I'll listen to records, and first I'll get the rhythm down of the voice, and then I'll get the tone, and go from there. No gap made has got a shade on sweet Georgia. Ella Fitzgerald is a difficult impression, one he'll work on for weeks to perfect. Sweet Georgia Brown. They all sigh and want to cry for sweet Georgia Brown. Carey began his career at Yuck Yuck's Comedy Cabaret in Toronto at the ripe age of 17. Today, he shares billing with Rodney Dangerfield and Buddy Hackett. And critics call him a comic genius. Not bad for a kid of 21. What a shame, what a shame. I got better. But success has its price. How much time do you put into it? all time. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had a holiday in a long time, you know, basically because you're always thinking about it. It's like being a doctor. You're on call all the time. You know, you're, you're think if you're not doing it or talking about it, you're thinking about it because... Or practicing it. Yeah, exactly. People think I'm a schizo. I'm not. I'm just going into my little dream world. I have a dream world. It's great. I love it. <laughs> And audiences love it, too, especially when Tom Jones takes the stage. Thank you.